Good morning. Okay, everyone, the redevelopment agency meeting of October 17, 2012 is called to order. This meeting has been properly noticed and posted in compliance with the open meeting law. These proceedings are being video recorded as well as presented live on KCLV Cable Channel 2 and are closed captioned for hearing impaired viewers. Please note some customers of Cox Communication who do not have a cable box may view this meeting on digital channel 89.5. The redevelopment agency meeting as well as all other KCLV program may be viewed on city's website www.kclv.tv. The proceedings will be rebroadcast on KCLV Cable Channel 2 and the web the Wednesday of the meeting at 8 p.m., also on Friday at 4 a.m., Saturday at 7 p.m., Sunday at 7 a.m., and then the following Monday at 1 p.m. This building is protected by state-of-the-art fire detection and suppressor Woo! Good morning. Sup Depression sprinkler system. If alarms should activate during today's meeting, please evacuate using the exit to the back of the chambers out to the mezzanine. Proceed out the double doors to the terrace and down the back staircase. Once outside, assemble on the northeast corner across the street from City Hall at Lewis and First Street. Employees wearing safety vests or city marshals will inform you when it is safe to re-enter the building. For public comment related to the items on the agenda, citizen participation and public hearing items, we have available a speaker card which you may complete and submit to the city clerk. Cards are available online in the clerk's office or at the rear of this chamber. If you do not submit a card, it does not prevent you from speaking under public comment, citizen participation, or specified public hearing items. If there's anyone present today who has need for hearing impaired equipment, please come forward and see the city clerk's staff. If you parked in the building garage across the street and did not receive a validation ticket as you entered chambers, please exit to your right, then see security personnel at the entrance. We will move on to item number three. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for action. The amount of time any single speaker is allowed may be limited. <coughs> All comments made will be cross-referenced to those specific items. If anyone submitted a speaker card or wishes to speak under this portion of the agenda, please come to the podium and state your name for the record. Hearing none, we will move on to item number four. For possible action to approve final minutes by reference of the regular redevelopment agency meeting of September 19th, 2012, may I have a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. There's a motion. Please vote and please post. Thank you. Motion carries. Item number five. Discussion for possible action regarding the commencement of Commercial Visual Improvement Program, CVIP, that provides financial assistance to new, existing, and expanding business owners with exterior improvements to commercial properties within the newly created redevelopment area two. This is in Councilwoman Tarkanian's Ward 1. Good morning, Mr. Arndt. Good morning, Mayor, members of Council. For the record, Bill Arndt, Director, Economic and Urban Development. This item before you today is a funding appropriation item for redevelopment area number two. On August 15th of this year, the council approved the adoption of the redevelopment area two. And in doing so, we're looking to use some of the programs that we've used in the past for uh, redevelopment areas for this new redevelopment area. And the program before you today is the Visual Improvement Program, or VIP program, which is a program to fix up business storefronts through the use of redevelopment agency funds, providing funds on a one-to-one -one match basis, uh, up to a maximum of $50,000 per business storefront. Uh, this funding has been provided uh, for the redevelopment area uh, at the last uh, budget hearing. And of the $1 million appropriation, uh, we're recommending that we fund this program in the amount of $300,000 funds will be eligible to businesses operating in redevelopment area two or seeking to operate in redevelopment area two on a first come first served basis staff recommends approval 
Thank you. Um, any comments, questions? Hearing none, um, will there be a motion, please? Cheers. I get to do this? Yes, you do. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> I move to approve. <laughs> There's a motion. Please vote and please post. And the applause. After it passes. <laughs> And it does. Thank you very much. We'll move on to item number six. Comment? Question? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I yes, just wanted yes, to state that I, you may recall, opposed the formation of the RDA. Having lost that battle, now the RDA is in place. I consider my role one of getting the job done as expeditiously as possible, which is why I voted in support of this and will continue to vote in support of good ideas in the furtherance of the mission that I lost the setting of direction over. <laughs> see, now that, <laughs> that's, nice. that's true leadership, though, <laughs> to it see your, your error and then to come around with wisdom. I mean, it's magnificent. Now, Madam Mayor, I think you're putting a word or two in my mouth there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we have a presidential race, but we're allowed to do that, yes? Goodness gracious, now you've made me lose my con What number are we on, Mayor Pro Tem? Six? Uh, number six. All right. Uh, okay. Citizen, <laughs> Citizen participation. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters within the jurisdiction of the Redevelopment Agency. No subject may be acted upon by the Redevelopment Agency unless that subject's on the agenda and is scheduled for action. If you wish to be heard, please come to the podium, give your name for the record, the amount of discussion on any single subject as well as the amount of time any single speaker is allowed may be limited. Anyone wishing to speak under this portion of the agenda? Councilman Ross. I am a citizen. Correct? Yes. I see that either Councilwoman Tarkanian or Councilman Barlow has a guest. Councilman. Thank you, Councilman Ross. <laughs> um, I do have a guest. This is uh, my intern from UNLV, Samira, and I will allow her to introduce herself and say a few words. Thank you. Hi, my name is Samira. I am a student at UNLV, majoring in political science. I'm a senior graduating this year, and I'm really enjoying the opportunity to see how city government works. Right. Welcome, and uh, please give us a clue if you find something that will help us. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ma Madam Mayor, just to show yes. you what a small, close community we are, my youngest son taught her political science. And um, she said he did a great job and turned her into a great desire of wanting to be in political science. And she well, sure turned out great. To you and um, My how son George. wonderful. George, that's <laughs> wonderful. And uh, hopefully your grades reflect how excellent his teachings were. Absolutely. Good. Yeah, absolutely. You're straight A's, I'm sure. Yes, ma'am. All right. That's <laughs> the way to go through. Anyone wishing to speak under this portion of the agenda? Um, hearing none, we'll move on to item number seven, agency member recognition. Comments made by individual agency members during this portion of the agenda will not be acted upon by the agency unless that subject is on the agenda and scheduled for action. Any member wish of the redevelopment agency who wishes to speak under this portion of the agenda? Are there any other comments? Goodness, we are quiet today. We're exhausted, maybe. Yeah. Hearing none, the redevelopment agency is adjourned, and we will start our council meeting in, it looks like, 20 minutes, 9 o'clock this morning. Thank you.